welcome to the next video in my series where I will be discussing the basic concept of a DC motor box. Now, the second most important part of, uh, of any DC machine is how to start a motor. So, for this purpose, there is a three point starter to start the DC motor with only DC supply. As you, we all know that a three point starter has two windings, armature winding and pin winding. Whereas in a compound motor, there are three windings armature winding, field winding, and the long shunt or the short shunt. So, so, but both of these motors can be operated through a three point starter. Now, if you recall from your theory, theoretical background that what is the equation of the EMF equation of a DC motor? From that EMF equation, you can easily estimate that there is a very high back EMF generated when a DC motor is running. So, how do we counter that? And how we should make that startup such as it do not burn, burn away the uh, armature windings at startup. For this purpose, there is a three-point starter. Let me tell you brief about the different components of a three-point starter. First of all, there is a overload, overload release coil. There is a soft iron handle which is connected with a spring balance system. These points marked as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these points are called studs, which, which are also metallic in nature and the resistance as it is mentioned here starting resistance here these are starting resistance of a heater coil which absorb the extra voltage developed by the armature at the beginning of the running of the motor this this coil is wrapped over, wrapped over an iron core and is known as a nbc or as it is shown here non no volt coil the, let me tell you the connection diagram. Then at the main DC supply is connected to the overvolt release coil, also known as L, L point. The negative is shorted with one end of the field winding and one end of the armature coil. The field winding is connected to the no volt coil whereas the armature of the voltage is connected to the run point or the last point in a three point starter. So now that I have really understood all the different components and the connections, let me give you a detailed and theoretic and theoretical understanding of the working of the three point coil, how, what happens when the DC is point to supply and how it absorbs the current and how it works at rated speed. First of all, we have to consider the all three point starters are made in accordance with the voltage or the current range at which it has to work. For example, for 3 to 3 HP DC shunt motor, this resistance has should be in uh, made such that it should be able to handle 8 to 12 amperes of current. So let us consider there is a DC 3 there is a DC 3 HP motor connected. Let us begin understanding how it works. Now this line is connected to the lever. This line is connected to the overload release coil. Now this release coil, overload release coil is taking the main supply. Now as and this field winding and armature are connected to the last point and this. Now when the DC supply is applied and this soft so starter handle is moved to point A, then point 1, then the armature of the DC shunt motor starts creating back EMF because of the applied DC voltage. This as soon as we connect to point 1, then it connects the over volt release with the uh, armature of the voltage. So all the armature voltage developed is taken up by the all these R1, R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 plus R5. So all the resist heat uh, in power in the form of heat is dissipated in the resistance. As the motor pick up speed we take, a, take this uh, starter handle to point number 2. Now we have 
because the initial heavy voltage that was generated has been dissipated. When we take it to point two, and we then resistance number R two plus R three plus R four plus R five are in the circuit, and R one is taken off the circuit because of the low requirement of heat dissipation because the motor has picked up speed. Similarly, we go to R three and R four and R five. Finally, when we take this starter handle to run point, then automatically this uh, no volt coil uh, has all the voltage passing through it and being following the basic physics laws, it becomes a magnet and it connects the soft iron piece here shown here to this no volt coil and the motor picks up full rated speed of 220 volt at 220 volt of 1500 rpm and the motor runs at full speed i hope you have liked my video and i have tried my every bit to explain you in complete details of for this 3 point starter i hope uh, i'll be waiting for your likes and comments on this video so take care and bye bye